Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Game Boy, PlayStation 3, and Nintendo Switch emulation. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, as you probably have guessed, this camping is over for now. I will be doing some more in the future, and yes, I will be busting out the Steam Deck then. But we're back to a normal setup, and we're talking about Game Boy emulation on PC with Same Boy. Now, Same Boy is available as a RetroArch core or as a standalone version. It's free and open source, and version 0.15 just released, and it's a pretty big update. I will leave a link to the entire changelog in the description below, and I do recommend checking it out. There's a ton of information here, and we're just going over things at a high level. There are improvements, a number of them, as well as some bug fixes and some new features. Among the improvements are some performance improvements up to 34% with no accuracy loss. That is a pretty darn big improvement. Now, I don't want to say Game Boy emulation is strenuous by any stretch of the imagination, but at the same time here, if they can improve performance with no accuracy loss, why not do it? And speaking about accuracy, version 0.15 of Same Boy doesn't just improve emulation performance, it also improves emulation accuracy by a pretty big margin, including something that allows pixel perfect emulation of specific demos. And something of note here, which I think some people might be excited about, I think a lot of Game Boy emulation enthusiasts will be excited about is the fact that Game Boy Pocket and Lite is now available for emulation. So up on the screen here is the standalone version of Same Boy, and we can see it's version 0.15. If I hit escape and go to emulation options, emulated model is defaulted to Game Boy, but I can switch it to Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Super Game Boy, or Game Boy Pocket. Game Boy Pocket being the new option. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of Same Boy. It's an accurate emulator. It's easy to use, set up, and get going with. It's very small. It's less than a megabyte. If you've never tested this emulator out and you like Game Boy games, you might want to give this one a shot. Next up here, we're talking about PlayStation 3 emulation on PC with RPCS3. And RPCS3 also got a pretty big update. If you head on over to RPCS3's official website, rpcs3.net, and I will leave a link in the description below, click on download here. We'll see they're on version 0.023, up from 0.022. Although there is no official write up for version version 0.23 just yet, I'm assuming there will be one soon, you can check out the changes rate on GitHub, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. You can compare version 0.22 with version 0.23, and there are a whopping 298 commits. So if you are using RPCS3, you might want to consider updating to version 0.23. There may be some bug fixes and there might also be some improvements and optimization. Now I'll obviously share more details about this update when RPCS3 shares some more details, but in terms of overall game compatibility, things are looking very, very good. For all games that have been tested, 3,261 of them, a whopping 2,210 are now listed as playable. Now, for those of you asking me about PlayStation 3 emulation on Android, I will say don't hold your breath just yet. I've addressed this in previous videos, but we're a ways out from good PS3 emulation on Android. We're a ways out from any PS3 emulation on Android. There's nothing out there right now. If you hear rumors about something like Damon PS3, I wouldn't get excited at all. It is still going to be some time, probably even years, before we see PS3 on Android. And speaking of Android, last up here we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. We have a bunch of new versions of this emulator, I'm not even kidding, a whole bunch of them. If you head on over to skyline-emu.1, I will leave a link in the description below and click on download right on the main page, we can see there are a whole bunch of new versions of Skyline that have just been updated. In fact, we've got 1230, 1233, 1235, and 1237. If you are keeping up with Skyline, I'd probably recommend starting at 1237 and seeing how it works for you. The amazing Skyline testers are currently going in and checking out things here. It appears that Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is booting, not in game, just booting. If you like to dance, Just Dance 2021 is booting, and Darksiders 2 is starting to shape up. Release by release, Skyline keeps getting better and better, and the developers are definitely not taking their foot off the gas. You really have to commend 
commend them for being as amazing as they are. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. Whether it was Same Boy, RPCS3, or Skyline, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.